It's Thursday. That means Dr. Joe is here to answer your pet questions. So if you have a problem with your pet, you can give us a call. The number is 460-KJRH. This is Dr. Joe Landers, if you were wondering, and he's brought along Ben this morning, right? Yeah, this is little Ben. I, he's been renamed a few times. His, his name might be Beans or something else on the Amelaid website, but he is a good little guy. Oh, he sees himself. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's, he's looking at himself in the monitor. He, he is, and he's whining to play with himself, which is... Uh, uh, I'm not sure if he's liking what he's seeing or I'm if not he's, sure uh, he's not, not liking bit, what he's, he's seeing. He's a little bit nervous. That's kind, of, that's kind of funny. Actually, I always think that's a sign of intelligence, actually, when they can kind of see and kind of perceive and do yeah, that. That's true. Uh, but that's that's just my own kind of deal. But he's um, he's over at Heritage. He's about okay. two years old, uh, maybe maybe three or so. A little guy, he got hit by a car, but he's all hmm. better now, and he's been altered and, and, and ready. And part uh, Chihuahua, but not all Chihuahua. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I think they list him a Chihuahua, and, and there's obviously some Terrier or something in him. Uh, but he's an active little guy. And he's very observant. Uh, we were on the way over here, and we got in construction, and there's a few construction guys, and he kind of barked at them a little bit. <laughs> and and I've got his leash on because he's he likes to run. And he's a very very fast little dog, but he's a great little guy. I mean, Seems he's like a, it, yeah. yeah. And uh, so in, anyway, but uh, he's over at Heritage, which is six two seven eight five seven five, or he's at amelade.org on the net, um, or animalaid is I think seven four four eighty two eighty. That's the your number job, yeah. Animal Aid. <laughs> and we have it on the screen, or you can go to animalaid.org. That's where you can find. Mr. Ben here. Let's get to the phones. First up, we have Elma in Oak Mulgee. Good morning, Elma. Good morning. What's your question? I have a little one-year-old uh, chihuahua mm -hmm. neutered. Yes. And he eats anything paper. He just seems obsessed with it. Yeah. Chews it up and swallows it. Yeah, yeah. Some of them get kind of a taste for stuff. Uh, my bulldog loves wood, uh, and that's that's to the demise of our chairs and tables and countertops and things. <laughs> you know, when she when she was kind of younger, and that's about the the right age. A lot of times, you know, you try to get them chew bones and other things, uh, and it it is it is it is kind of difficult. Usually, paper won't hurt them. That'll usually kind of break up okay and everything. Usually, what I'll try to do is is keep giving them something that they should. A lot of times, people think they're missing something in their diet, and and there can be cases on that, but usually that's just they've they've found what they like. Uh, some dogs like plastic. Occasionally you have dogs that like metal or wood or, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, rocks or something, mm -hmm. and that's not so good because those can get caught. So right. paper not so bad, although okay. uh, one time my dog early on uh, ate my paycheck. So that was <laughs> <laughs> that's one paper you do that not want your dog to eat for sure. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, our next caller is out in Sepulpa. Good morning. Hi. Hi. What's your question? I have a cat that's very pregnant that's adopted yes. me, mm -hmm. and she jumps up on my lap, and I don't know how to get her not to do that without hurting her. Can well, you got any suggestions? Yeah, most of the time, and I'll, t I'll tell people uh, when they're pregnant, you know, they they are are pr pretty tough, but you you want to you want to put your hand. I'm going to show on on him here, right here under under their chest, and then right between their two back legs if they're kind of getting up and down a little bit. Uh, and a lot of times, and even on some pregnant cats, and, and, and this so much, if she's really kind of struggling, sometimes you can lift right here and here. You know, you can actually kind of get behind her neck. Cats do that a little bit better if she's kind of struggling a little bit. And then I slide my whole hand right up underneath here like this so that I've kind of got her kind of supported on my arm here because I imagine she's probably maybe a little bit bigger than beans, but not too much. So, hmm. but anyway, so, but yeah, just, just kind of gently. And they're pretty tough. Uh, but yeah. yeah, you'll probably be having kittens here pretty soon. They, they're pregnant for about 60, 63 days, really. Okay. And so, okay. uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be soon for her. So, <laughs> won't be long. Yeah. And this is the first time we've ever used our pet of the week for a demonstration yes, that's here right. on Tuesday Midday. So, this is He's a, a milestone for that's us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Dr. Joe is here every Thursday to answer your pet questions. If you missed any of today's segment, you can go to kjrh.com, click on the lifestyle tab to watch it again, learn about other pets who need homes, and find out more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much.